half of all women over the age of 50 are going to have a fracture in the remaining lifetime. So today what we're going to talk about is bone density and bone quality and how it affects someone's fracture risk. In the people that fracture, what studies have shown is that half of those fractures occur with people that have relatively good bone mineral density scores. So what is it that makes the difference between fracturing or not fracturing? Most recent studies have shown that it's someone's bone quality. Recent diagnostic tools have allowed us to look more deeply into the quality of bone. And that tool is called a peripheral quantitative computer tomography. Unfortunately, it's expensive, it's not readily available, there are a few out there. And so most of your clients will never have the opportunity to have a PQCT done. But I think it's very important that you know about bone quality. The quality of bone is defined as a combination of the microarchitecture of the bone and the microstructure of the bone. So the microarchitecture of the bone is the type of rods and cones, the, the shape of the trabeculae, the thickness of the trabeculae, whereas the microstructure is the quality of the collagen as well as other bone mineral matrix. At the 2010 American Society of Bone Mineral Research, there were some really interesting studies that were presented specifically looking at the use of the peripheral quantitative computer tomography tool to look at whether or not women who fractured had different bone makeup than women of the same bone mineral density and the same age group who didn't fracture. In the women who fractured, even though they had the same bone mineral density and they, they were of the same age group, it was shown by the peripheral quantitative computer tomography that there were fewer plates and there were fewer connectivities between the plates and rods, meaning that there was just less trabeculae, less bone. Although this was not seen when they did a bone mineral density test. When they do a bone mineral density test, it strictly just looks at the density of the bone all the way through, not being able to discriminate between trabecular bone or cortical bone or between thickness of the trabeculae themselves. In the last decade, the World Health Organization recognized that the role definition of osteoporosis and osteopenia wasn't sufficient to identify who should be on medication based on their fracture risk. And so they developed FRAX, and FRAX, if you Google FRAX, you'll come up to a questionnaire that looks at a lot of other elements that determines someone's bone health beyond their age, their family history, calcium intake, vitamin D intake, and a number of other things such as smoking,